uh, with the county uh, commissioner and uh, the security team and also um, the uh, office of the county gov uh, the governor's office. And uh, we are meeting today with only one agenda, which is really uh, to assess uh, the drought situation in our, in our county. And uh, indeed, uh, as you all know, at the moment uh, there is drought in our county, just like uh, the other parts of the country. And uh, we have seen that um, uh, Narok West uh, has been affected, uh, particularly uh, Naikara Ward, uh, Siena Ward, and uh, the lower part of uh, Mara Ward. And also when you go to uh, Narok South, um, Olengulu location and uh, Nduka and the Langat and part of the Loita are uh, also affected and, and Majimoto. Um, when you also go to Narok East, um, Mosiro has been affected and uh, Susua. And uh, the reason uh, for that is because, again, uh, we had an influx of levee stock uh, from the neighboring counties, uh, particularly uh, Kajiado, and also on the lower part of Mara, uh, particularly Naikara Ward and, and Siena, also we had uh, influx of uh, um, levee stock from the neighboring country, uh, Tanzania. And um, uh, for the last three or four months, we have not uh, gotten uh, rain. So um, what we have uh, done is, again, uh, we have also heard that um, most of the schools have been affected, uh, particularly in the areas that I have uh, mentioned. Um, and uh, we are planning on how we can come up with uh, um, uh, supply foods, stuffs, and also uh, see what we can do in terms of supplying water. Uh, we have started uh, supplying water uh, to Mosiro uh, schools uh, starting about two days ago, and we are monitoring the situation. Uh, and also the national government is coming in. Uh, today we have already uh, come up with a report which we will be sending uh, to the office of the deputy president um, uh, latest tomorrow uh, so that uh, we can see whether we can get some uh, we can get uh, good uh, staff uh, food staff uh, to our county also we have also realized that in our town here in Narok, um, the food prices is really going up and we are trying to see whether we can also come up with measures um, I think I'll give the county commissioner also maybe to comment, but generally uh, we are planning on how we can uh, help our county in terms of uh, um, the areas that have been affected. Uh, the meeting was about the drought, um, uh, uh, drought situation in the county. Just as you are aware, Narrow County is among the counties that are affected by drought. The areas we have, uh, that are affected have been identified, as you have been told. I want to say that uh, on behalf of the national government, we are monitoring the situation very keenly to ensure that no life is lost, no livestock is lost because of drought. We have come up with measures which we are going to put in place under request to the national government so that together with the county government we can be able to ensure that the, our people, our livestock are safe. We have identified 115,000 people across the county who are affected, but mostly the areas which are affected are Narok East, Narok part, part, part of Narok South, and Narok West. We also have a few pockets of people living here in town, in urban centers. We also have uh, the people living in the camp near Mao. Uh, those people need food. We have also identified uh, the uh, challenge of livestock, where some livestock are growing weak. So we have come up with a way of whether the government can be able to supply uh, uh, livestock feeds so that uh, we can be able to manage this situation. We have also uh, come up with, the, now that it is planting season, with a way of uh, how we will be able maybe the government to give subsite fertilizer and uh, seeds so that farmers can be able to plant during this planting season. We have also identified schools which need uh, school feeding programs urgently, especially in those areas which are affected. We have got about 130,000 pupils 
in our second school or primary school which are affected who need to be assisted with food so that um, they can be able to continue learning and uh, also they can be able to sit for the national exam which is coming towards the end of November and early December. I think those are the issues. We have agreed that uh, the national government together with the county government uh, and uh, all NGOs and uh, donors operating in Naro County, they must bring all their plants uh, which relates to food to this steering committee. The steering committee is established, has been established at the county level. It is also going to be established at the sub county level up to the location level to ensure that the food that we receive, whether from government, whether from donors, is able to reach the right people.